Hi there, this tutorial will introduce you to a few important steps you should know before you begin your character assembly, as well as basic import functions. Before you even get your files into Animator, you'll need to create them using your favorite illustration software. Once I've done the body part for my character, I need to export it in Swift format. For maximum compatibility, you should use Flash or Illustrator, which is what I'm using here, but any software with the ability to export in vector format will do. You can use this visual guide found in our developer's resource page as a reference for your character's body parts. I've assembled all the individual Swift files here in Flash in order to create a blueprint for my character assembly in Animator. I'm going to go up and export this as a PNG file, which will give me a transparent background. The format is not terribly important, but transparent backgrounds are recommended. Also, the size should be consistent with the size in the software you used to create your character. Once I've saved my file, I need to import it into Animator and save it as a prop, so I can import it into the Character Composer later. To do that, I'll just drag in my image, then make sure I'm in the Custom tab of the Scene Prop section and select the Add button. I'll save this as Apple Blueprint. Once that's done, I can delete the file and enter into the Character Composer. Before we go into the Composer though, you'll need to know the basics of front and side facing characters. That's what we have here on the screen. If I enter the Layer tab of the Scene Manager, I can see that my front facing character has his arms higher up in the hierarchy, above most of the other body parts. Also note that he doesn't have any eye or mouth sprites as this character has a more faced face. You can move items up and down in the hierarchy to see the results on your character. The side profile character has more sprites considering it also has a sprite based head, but also note that the right arm sprites are near the bottom of the hierarchy. You can also see that the left foot of the side facing character is also facing left. Ok now because my character is going to be front facing, I want to use the front facing default character as a template but I need to change the head to a sprite based character to accommodate my character's facial sprites. I can simply just double click to import in a default sprite based head and that will be my template. The next thing I want to do here is go to the custom prop section and import in the blueprint that I saved. To do that I can click and drag or simply double click the image. You'll see that when I import my blueprint in it will appear over my template character's body. The next thing I want to do is because I don't want my template character's parts to get in the way, I'm going to delete them one by one from the layer menu until there's nothing left. You don't have to worry, you're just deleting the sprites, but not the actual character structure. If I move over to the scene tab, you'll see the full hierarchy of your character. Now you'll notice that there are a few items that our character doesn't really need, such as the neck and lower torso. I'm now going to demonstrate your basic process for importing body parts, starting with the upper torso, which will make up our character's body. You'll need to select that part in the scene manager first, and then open up the sprite editor. As you can see, because I deleted all the parts, there's nothing there, so I'll select the insert button and search for my sprite for the upper torso. Once you import, you may get a warning message saying the swift tag is not supported. This is just due to the various export settings from Flash, and it will not affect the import into Animator. In this case, my imported sprite is a little larger than my blueprint, so I can just resize that a little if I need to. Now I'll go up to the scene hierarchy again and click on the right thigh, which will change my sprite editor to a blank library again. I'm going to repeat the same procedure here and import in my right thigh. I'll just leave it the original size as maybe the original looks a bit too thin to support my character's big apple weight. I'll then proceed to go down the hierarchy to the cap, and then the foot, which is the recommended order. These particular sprites are all in Swift format from Flash and are vector based. This format is recommended but not required. You can still have good results with any other format from your favorite illustration software. When I get to the foot, you'll see that it will import in a little bit crooked. To fix this, I can just hover my mouse outside the green selection box which will cause the cursor to change to a rotate function. Then I'll just click and drag to adjust it to the right position. Don't worry if everything doesn't look perfect right now, we'll do refinements later. The first part is just importing everything in. Once I'm satisfied that I don't need the blueprint image in the background anymore, I can simply delete it. In the second part of this tutorial, you'll find out more about facial enhanced sprite libraries and I'll give you some tips on the best way to import them.